close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, where do you feel the breath? When you breathe out, where do you feel it? Focus your attention there and see if you can keep it there. This is going to require some qualities of the mind that you're going to be developing as you meditate. One is mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, so that each time the breath comes in, you're there with the new breath. And don't go wandering off someplace else because you forgot. The second quality is alertness, is noticing what you're doing and the results of what you're doing. When you breathe in a certain way, how does it feel? When you breathe in other ways, how does it feel? You can experiment. The long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. See what kind of breathing feels best right now. And then you want to develop a quality, a quality that's called ardency. You want to do this well. After all, you are training the mind. It's for the sake of true happiness, the happiness that comes from within. And happiness requires that the mind be trained. If your mind is not trained, it can suddenly do things that you didn't, didn't expect or didn't want to do, but suddenly a, a sudden desire takes over and you're off doing something else. And people can destroy their happiness very easily this way. You can work for years on developing something really good in your life, and then the mind is so changeable it can turn around 180 degrees, go off in another direction, just basically throw away what it's accomplished. That's something you want to protect yourself against. You want a mind that you can rely on, a mind that's stable. And these qualities of mindfulness, alertness, and ardency help protect the mind from its own ability to change so quickly. Sometimes we're taught that the Buddha teaches us to accept change, and he accepts the fact that change can happen, but he doesn't have us accept that all change is good or that we have to put up with all kinds of change. Mindfulness actually means remembering if something unskillful has yet to arise, that you make it arise. Once it has arisen, you remember to keep it going and not let it fall, fall away. So we're not here just watching things coming and going. Certain things we want to have come, certain things we want to have go. And we learn how to do that here in the mind. We get more control of the mind, not the control of a control freak, the control of someone who's skillful. And it's through developing these qualities, and we develop them right here at the breath. Because the breath is always there, no matter where you go, whether you're sitting with your eyes closed or out doing work, or just go walking down the street, the breath is always there. It can always provide you with a grounding. So as you go through the day, you've got a place where you feel at home inside, because you've been straightening it out inside here. So look after your breath. Try to breathe in a way that feels good. And notice that the needs of the body are going to change from time to time. So try to be on top of that. Sometimes long breathing feels good, sometimes short, sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Deep, shallow, heavy, light. These are things you can play with. And you've good, got a good, solid basis inside. And when the mind is solid inside, then you have a good basis for your happiness because it's based on something you can trust.